Ladies and gentlemen, this is a website called dateandtime.com. And what they will do is publish the lunar and solar eclipse for the year. There's a reason why I'm showing you this. And you're about to see it very shortly. So as you can see, there was a partial lunar eclipse on April 30th. And there was a lunar eclipse on May 15th, 16th. The next solar eclipse on the schedule is for October 25th, 2022. And then the last lunar eclipse for 2022 is November 7th through 8th, 2022. And it shows you what parts of the earth that you will see these eclipse. So you're looking at all of the dates, you're looking at what type of eclipse, and you're looking at the part of the world it will be visible from. Ladies and gentlemen, an unexpected, lun uh, this was a solar eclipse, occurred on June 29th, 2022, that caught NASA completely off guard. Ladies and gentlemen, NASA was observing the sun and out of nowhere, a solar eclipse occurred. And no, this is not one that was on the schedule. There was nothing for June 29th, 2022, which leads me to believe that these um, eclipses happen a lot more often but we're being told it only occurs a few times a year. And as you can see, th this is no way this can be true. So what was happening was NASA was on a sun mission. It was observing a sunspot. Now, some of you that follow the news might have known that there was a large sunspot facing the earth. And I know why they were observing it. So while they were facing the sun and observing it, this eclipse occurred, which completely stunned them. So a sun gazing NASA aircraft captured the moon passing in front of the sun's face on Wednesday, June 29th. NASA Solar Dynamic Observatory caught the solar eclipse in action from a unique vantage point in space, the only spot where this eclipse was visible. At the peak of the eclipse, the moon covered 67% of the sun, and the lunar mountains were backlit by solar fire. This was uh, spaceweather.com Wednesday morning, and this was Eastern time. Uh-huh. So, so far, NASA has not commented on this unexpected solar eclipse. So, SDO usually looks at the sun as the source of space weather or radiation in space that affects the Earth aspects. Its studies include the sun's magnetic field, uh, the sunspot, and other aspects that influence activity during the regular 11-year cycle. So studies how the solar activity is created 
and drives a space weather. The spacecraft measures the sun interior, so the sun's interior, atmosphere, magnetic field, and energy output. All work to help us understand the star we live in, NASA wrote of its mission. So the SDO was launched back in February of 2010 and forms part of a network of solar spacecraft from NASA and its partner agency. All right, so that's the NOAA. The sun has been uh, quite active lately and unusually early in its cycle, which should reach its peak around 2025. Scientists are interested in following the origin story of sun flares and accompanying uh, coronal mass ejections of charged particles, which can create colorful auroras in the Earth's atmosphere. All right, and they're saying that the CMEs are harmless, but strong bursts may disrupt satellites, power lines, and other infrastructure, which is why scientists are keen on good predictions. Notably, NASA has uh, been sent a close-up of the sun-gazing mission called Parker Solar Probe to investigate the corona and superheated outer region of the sun as other satellites watch from further away to gain context. So quite interesting. And you know what? It also tells me that some of the eclipse they can predict and some of them they just simply can't. And those are probably the reason why they don't observe all of them. But trust me, there's more that's happening than we will ever know. You know, these folks are very selective in what they want us to know and what they try to keep away from us. So, ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think, how they unexpectedly caught this eclipse on camera while observing the sun on Wednesday, June 29th, 2022. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.